What's going on guys? We're back. And you're going to notice something right off the bat. You're probably going to turn down your audio volume. Because this is the loudest that we've been ever. Um, so I just updated my computer, put in a whole new motherboard processor, all kind of fun stuff. So I'm basically on a brand new computer. And this is what my audio should sound like. This is the correct audio volume and I haven't even adjusted any of the settings in my microphones. Before we were at 100% volume for recording and it was very 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 soft. It was probably my most gotten complaint was that the audio was so quiet. But now it should be better. So yay for that. Another thing you might notice is all of these barrels are empty. Let me show you what we did. So a little bit easier route than what we were doing before. I have this router set to extract from anywhere and this thing to pull out stacks at a time. So it would just pull out everything that was getting that was in the barrels and take it out. Then let's come up here. So this is everything that we have on six discs. That was everything that was in all of those barrels down there and all of the chest in six discs. We have another 20, 30 more to go before we're even close to being full. So, I think we're good with four towers right now. A few more things you'll see. I have an ME interface here, which is something we made last time. And I have my item test rack going directly into it. If we look at, let's say, dirt. We'll see dirt go in. Eventually. Possibly. I don't know. You'll have to believe me that all the stuff is going into it. Another thing you'll see is ME crafting terminal. Let's look at that guy real quick. I had just made this on a video, however, I was using free fraps and not real fraps. So, storage cells, real easy stuff here. And what it does is it allows you to pull items from the inventory here and make them. So I made a whole bunch of these ME assembler containment walls because that's what we're going to do today. We're going to make an automated, automated assembler and have it make stuff for us. So, I'm going to tear down this because I originally made it way too big. I made it a 7 by, or, uh, yeah, it was a 7 by 7, so the inside was 25 blocks per layer, and there were 5 layers, so it's like 125. A little ridiculous. And this will be better, though. This one should work perfectly. And that still gives us, hold on, let me see, that's six up and five crossed. I don't want to do that. Symmet it has to be symmetrical. It has to be symmetrical. Not to mention that this will do more than enough of what we want it to. So, let's get this guy filled in around like this. And that leaves us nine slots in the center and on each layer so nine times one two three so we've got 27 so let's make 15 of these things and put all of these back in the inventory up there and we need to make some crafting CPUs so we need to get some advanced processors, but we can get everything else all together. Um, glowstone. I think I saw that in here. Something like that. Um, now we got two glowstones. Then the rest was iron. Is that right? Iron and then the diamond thingy. So, this is already so much nicer. Let's see if I have any of those little diamond thingies down here. It's unlikely, but... Oh, we do. Nice. And come up here, go over here. And let's make like 15 of these guys. And we'll just have extra of whatever we have left. 
And... Perfect. So, one other thing that I did while we were gone is I have this as our dirt chest that's going into the uh, dirt room over here where all the dirt's getting processed to all the various machines. And the way this is working is I have an export bus that pulls things out of the server. It will always make sure that there is a full set of dirt in here. And that's the only thing that it's set to pull out. It will only pull out dirt. And we can even have it set to activate with signals. So like if I wanted to save dirt, I could have a red or a lever here and turn it on or off. So let's get this thing going. Three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, two, three, one. Okay. Now this should work. Maybe. Does it need to be plugged into the network? It might need to be plugged into the network. ME wires. Let's pull those guys out. This might not even be enough. May need to make some more ME wires. Probably I'll have to. Oh, don't want you. Is there anything else that I should have in there? The assemblers, the heat vents. Nope. Okay. So let's get all of this stuff torn up. This will get us some more wires. And we can get this thing on the network, hopefully. Maybe it's too big. Maybe it's got a smaller limit. I'm going to go check. I'll be right back. All right, we're back, and I had it completely wrong. So what it needs to be is these heat vents need to be on the sides of these, which means I need to make a lot more. And the crafting CPUs can still be in the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two. Now we want 15 of these things called pattern something or others. <laughs> pattern providers. Where are they? They should be in here somewhere. Can't believe they're not like right next to all the other stuff that goes into this block. Pattern encoder. Pattern provider. There it is. Crafting table. Oh. Um, let's take out a ton of that. And we'll put all of that back in there. There we go. I guess was, well, I didn't want chest either, though. <laughs> oh, fun. Okay. Let's put you back in there. Let's get all these guys back in there. And we'll make... Uh, let's say a stack of those. So that's the first part. And then we need some iron. So let's grab some iron here. And then we need some of these guys. And then we need some of these things. And last but not least, we need some storage cells. And those are down there. M E. Okay. And 
And so let's come down here and make some of these things. I'm going to disable this recipe. And we'll make like 23. Now that way we have a few extra. And this is really a lot more pattern things than we actually need, but... Um, so let's see what 11 does. I don't think 11 is going to do it. Oh, I need some more heat vents, don't I? I do need one more of these things, though. So let's get rid of all of these and go with some iron thingies. And what else is in the heat vent? The wire, which I do not have a lot of. Cannot wait to get this thing up and running. Make my life a whole lot easier. Alright. Let's get back through this hole. And there we go. That should be plenty, hopefully. As many as I can make is 24. Seems a little low, probably is. Yeah, it's not going to do it. That's not going to be enough. We're going to have to go down there and make some more. But anyway, let's uh, let's fill this guy in while we're up here. And then we need like 18 more or so. We need 18 total. I have three, so we need 15. I don't think I had a 15 there, so we're going to need to make some. That's not too bad, though. This thing makes things real easy. So, ME cable. We need quartz fiber. So, glass. And then... Quartz dust. Let's make as much of that as we possibly can. <laughs> okay, I think that's all that we can make because we're out of glass. And then we need some redstone. Right, how much of this can we make? Okay, that'll do. Now let's get some more iron. Not aerial faith plates. And voila. We need 15 of these things right here. 15. All right. And get the top. There we go. Look at that. So what this does is each one of those pattern providers that we put in there allows us to have another page of these. So I think we have 12 in there total, which means we get 12 pages that we can put recipes in, which is awesome. And then each one of the crafting uh, CPUs that we put in there allows us to craft faster. So this is speed boost, and this is memory, basically. Um, so now we need the next part of it, which is a pattern encoder, which is real easy to make. We only really need one of these things. 
So let's see, I should have a crafting table. I should have some iron. I don't know what the other thing's called. A conversion matrix. And then, oh, it's, all, it's iron all the way around. Iron all the way around. Right? Oh, backwards. So we need one of those. Put all this stuff back. And then we need to figure out how to craft blank patterns. Which is this thing. No, it's not that one. It is... Blank patterns right here. So let's put a lot of this thing down on the line. We'll say right there. It actually doesn't even need to have power power it doesn't need to be connected to the network at all so we can actually place this wherever we really feel like it but I like right here um, and then we want to make some of the blank patterns so glowstone glass we need to grow it downstairs and grab some glass then we can do a lot of other fun things with it. So let's grab some glass, some glowstone. So if we don't need to go into the network's glowstone, that's great. So glowstone, 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 glass, glass, and quartz and iron. Quartz and iron. Two, three. So there is a stack of blank things. And I think you can only put one in at a time, which kind of sucks. Yeah, you can only put one in at a time. And so what we can do with this is put the rest of this stuff in here. And let's get... the first recipe in making a solar panel. So let's go solar. Solar panels. Glass panes. So when we say we want glass panes, we need to teach the computer that we need glass panes. Blank. Okay. So once again, put that there. And these are just ghost images of it. They don't actually take that for you. And we encode that on it. So this thing says that 16 glass panes with 6 glass. We come over here and we plop that in there. And now, when we go into our terminal, if we type in glass panes and we take out all of our glass panes, that we have in here, it gives us the option to craft them, and we can tell it how many we want to craft. So let's put all that back in there. Look at the next part of the solar panel. Silicon plates. So, silicon plates we're going to have to put in there ourselves. That's just a given. Carbon plates, we're going to have to put in there ourselves. Until we tell it what to do later. Generators, however, we can tell it how to make every part of the generator. So we can tell it that we need a copper wire. No, we need copper. Let's let's start at the very basics. Rubber and redstone and tin. Redstone and tin. Okay, now the first thing we want to do is we want to teach it how to craft wires for us. So, we now have the wire recipe. And then we want to teach it how to make batteries with said wire recipe, except I don't have any wires. Because it doesn't actually make them for me. Wire. 
copper copper cable okay copper cable and right like that that makes me a battery okay next thing we want to teach it how to make is an iron furnace so we take out an iron and we'll make an iron furnace because we have so much iron I really don't care which recipe we use iron furnace then we're going to do something else and this is something I don't want to get into right away but we're going to set up the recipe to do this anyway know that it works and then I'm not crazy so for refined iron we're actually able to change the recipe that this gives us so right now one iron gives us an iron nugget but we don't want it to do that we want it to give us a refined iron and we tell it okay it says I can craft a refined iron with an iron ingot I don't know how I do that but I can okay <laughs> that works just trust me it works and then we want to make one of these so I need redstone and that right because I don't care about using electrum encode okay so it now knows how to make all of that if I come over here and we get an electric circuit out some silicon plates and everything else we can make a solar panel I need an iron furnace or just iron in general and a crafting table because we're going to need this near us so we might as well set it down now okay so we want to do this and say this is how <laughs> after I make my iron furnace and my RE battery okay so I don't think I actually have a recipe for a generator do I no so I need a generator recipe don't I and that makes us a generator learn it all right and now with that generator which we're gonna make one over here it's a very long process but it'll pay off in the end so generator things I accept I don't have carbon plates carbon let's see if I've got any down here I don't really have the coal to spare so I'm hoping I have some down here we're gonna have to start running our uh, Okay, raw carbon mesh, perfect. We're going to need to start running our quarries again because I had a mishap with a barrel when I was trying to move it. Uh, you'll notice that there's only 64 coal in here, which is a bit of a problem. But anyway, so we do that. We do this this I need glass panes so let's start again one more time do I have everything at this time I do there we go code now all of those teach us how to make one or how to make this 
teach us how to make solar panels. So, let's plop all of those in here. So this is something neat. You can actually shift to see what they can make. So now, we're going to have to do this for each recipe. But you guys get the idea. This is something you don't want to see me do. Uh, just know that you know we're going to put each recipe for each part in here. I'm going to do the irritating... The ir irradiated glass, I'm going to do recipes for the advanced alloys, and I'm going to do a recipe for the irradiated reinforced plate. And, I mean, it's really not going to be that bad. And we'll... I guess where we'll pick up next time is where I want to do the stuff with how we're going to get the reinforced... or the refined iron and iridium and carbon mesh and all of that other stuff that we're going to need in making a solar panel. So, until then, thanks for watching guys. Let me know how the audio quality is now. It should be tremendously better. Um, and I will be continuing to do my hardcore eventually. We had a mishap with it. For anybody that actually cares, um, I had one thing go wrong in my hardcore, um, which kind of sucks, but, um, when I transferred everything over, I copied the shortcut to my Minecraft instead of... Uh, instead of copying the Minecraft folder. And, yeah, that was bad. But anyway, um, I'm going to do one more recipe real quick. Just because it makes a lot of sense, and it will make my life a whole lot easier. So we go fertilizer we need what is it what is it it's per, it's this stuff here appetite appetite and sand oh is it like that like that something like that yeah there we go so that's what I need so let's get out one sand one appetite and we're going to encode this onto a crafting thingy. Encoded. Awesome. Let's put this in here. And we'll put this guy in here as well. And we need an export bus. ME export bus. I need to just make like a stack of these things because so wire ME wire ME cable I'm just going to make I guess I can only make two of them so I'll make two piston and I need some iron. Okay. So I guess I just make one for now because I do have a plan for that other thing. And what we do here is we move stacks in at a time of fertilizer. So now that the recipe's in here, I should be able to make fertilizer. Look at that. I want a stack. Begin. And look at that. Instantly a stack. So we tell this that we move fertilizer in here. Now, whether or not it's going to auto craft it for me, I don't think it will. There is, however, another idea that I have fertilizer. Let's get another stack.
Okay. I'm going to need to take a stack out of here. Let's make 64. So I'm taking this out. We're going to grab the other ME thingy. Where was it? Now oh, it's this thing here. ME interface. And we're going to plop that there. And what I want to do with this is we're going to do exported items. Process. Export config. And I need to figure out a way to make it automatically craft. Maybe if I take this out of here. And put it in there. It'll start making me no. Um. It might be pulling out of the chest. Or it might not be able to pull out of the chest. And I need to have like a transposer and some red pipe wire. Or we need some pneumatic tubes. Actually, I don't even need pneumatic tubes. If we put this there, and I go like that. But the transposer needs a power source, which kind of sucks. So, we're going to go with a target gates, because they work. And wooden pipes. Okay. Yay, Windows activated itself. <laughs> when there are items in the inventory, suck them out. And this this will never be empty, so this is actually okay to do it this way. The question is whether or not it's going to make things for me once that's out. Does not look like it. Hmm. But do you need to figure out a way to do this? I know that there is. Um... And we could do it several different ways. What's the easiest route? Well, here's the easiest route. Okay. Well, put this back in here, even though we don't need it now. We're going to grab a fabricator. So there's one fabricator, and then we're going to use this e, this thingy, an ME level emitter. ME. ME level emitter. So we want one of those and a red Okay. So let's grab one of those guys. And what we want to have happen now See, I don't think that's going to work. I 
Can't tell this thing to work off of a redstone signal. And I can't tell. I need to figure out a way to tell it that I can't have less than a stack of... There's got to be a way to, to say that I can't have less than a stack of... has to be has to be a way that I can say if you have less than a stack of of this of a uh, fertilizer make a stack or if you don't have a stack make a stack maybe it's in here or we'll just do this for now because I don't want to mess with it <laughs> look how long that <laughs> look how long, how short that took <laughs> it's so ridiculous I don't know I'm going to figure out how to do that though but until then we'll just do it like this because this is terrible and I'm a bad person and we're going to grab the Omni wrench and we're going to put in a stack of fertilizer at a time so until then guys once I figure that out I'll let you know and then we'll start working on how to get the rest of this stuff to go so see you later